and gentlemen, or in other words, a joyous continuum to you all. Welcome to this edition of For the Now Space News. For this Now Space Continuum date location of June 18th, 2022. Now what I'm going to do in this edition is a little bit different than I did in the last one. I'm not going to be syntaxing every single headline uh, because I can get to more material if I don't do that. However, I may choose to do that in certain scenarios. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bring you more content uh, having to do with actually what the title of this program is, which is a news show, and give you different headlines from different venues, such as mainstream media, alternative media, you know, very obscure places. So to begin with, uh, I'm going to try and do this every Saturday at 2300 hours Eastern Standard Time uh, to have a weekly wrap-up news show for you, just like in the olden days, maybe Saturday Night Live, the weekend update, you know, just like a regular news show. A little bit of consistency in your life and bringing value to you, something you can watch. Um, there won't be any cussing on here, I don't think so. So, you know, the kids can watch it too if they're awake at 2300 hours. Let's begin with some international news headlines that I looked up on Google. Uh, some of these things I actually don't even, because I, I don't really follow the news too closely, except when I do this, this program. So some of these things I don't even know about. So crowds take the London streets protesting costs. Well, let's think about what protesting means, folks. And what they're talking about in the context of this particular headline is that crowds are taken to the London streets to protest the cost of living. It's very expensive. It's pretty much expensive uh, over here, too, in the uh, past tense United States. What is a protest? PRO means no. ING is a modifier, a gerund modifier. So it's no test. Okay, so they're protesting cost of living. They're not happy with the cost of living. Okay, who's going to change that for them? Ah, the people they put in charge or the people that they consent to being in charge. Their leaders, their government, their babysitter. So basically when a child is being babysat and a child is not happy with what's going on with the babysitting, they want to watch a show, they want some treats, some candy, what do they do? They cry, <laughs> right? They protest until they cause such discomfort in the babysitter that the babysitter either gives in to them and gives them what they want or they put them in timeout. Think about that. Russian coal mine releases huge burst of methane. Hmm. Militants accused of beheading tourists surrender. That's an interesting way of wording things. Beheading means no head, right? Be means no, so it means that they were accused, militants were accused of beheading, and then the tourists surrendered. Confusing headline. <clears throat> I know. When we read these things, the whole adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble system is based upon making assumptions. They're assuming that you know that the militants surrendered. That's why correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, i.e. quantum grammar is so potent and powerful when you have closure on it and you know how to use it. You don't come across scenarios like this. One word, one meaning, one congruency, one function, so on and so forth. Here we go into the headline. The stock market had a very bad week. Well, that that's unfortunate. It's unfortunate when anyone has a bad week. Although I've never personally met stock market. Why it gets worse before it gets better. <laughs> That's like saying a stop clock is right twice a day. <laughs> of course it's going to get better at some point. <sighs> so this is a big issue right here, you know, especially with people who are into cryptos and stuff like that. Mm. I think the last time I looked, uh, Bitcoin was blue past 18,000 headed to 17. Uh, huge drop. One thing is for sure, though, that I've learned from Freemason Gregory Manorino is that if you want to, if you're looking for a crash or evidence of a crash, a, a economic crash, you would not look at the stock market. You would look at 
the debt market, because this is a debt-based society, fiction society. And your credit report is based upon the amount of debt that you possess and are successfully paying on. That's what your credit report's based on. It's based on debt or debit. This next headline is from an alternative news site called Signs of the Times, Sot.net, the world for people who think. And this is a section called Sot Focus, Mind Matters, the War Paradox, how warfare breeds cooperation and cooperation reduces <clears throat> warfare. The War Paradox, what is a paradox, folks? Do you know what a paradox is? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's find out. So paradox from the 1530s comes from a statement contrary to common belief or expectation comes from para plus doxa, opinion, deck, to take, accept. So it means contrary to accepting. Contrary to accepting. So let's keep that in mind, folks, as we go back here. The war paradox. Contrary to accepting. How warfare breeds cooperation. So we have cooperation coming from warfare breeding. I don't know about you folks out there. I don't find warfare attractive at all in any sense of the word. I don't know anybody who does. And I don't know anybody who would find warfare attractive enough to breed with it. But in any case, I guess someone did and it bred cooperation. Cooperation with what though? With warfare and what? And cooperation reduces warfare. We all know that RE means no. So cooperation no deuces warfare. So cooperation, so warfare breeds cooperation and cooperation no deuces warfare. And that's a paradox. I agree 100% because paradox means to not accept something. And I don't accept that. Sot.net. Next headline comes from Newsweek. Economy is already collapsing, majority of Americans believe. Hmm. What is an American, I ask you, ladies and gentlemen? This evening, I'd like you to think about that. What is an American? We have North America, we have Central America, we have South America, all Americans, right? So Canada, you can be an American if you're in Canada. You can be an American if you're in Guatemala, El Salvador, Brazil, Ecuador. You can be an American in any of those places, right? Am I right? When you think about what an American is, oh, Oh, so it's been modified to mean something else, something specialized. Again, language modification. Here we go. Economy is already collapsing. Please follow my cursor. We have adjective, 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 pronoun. These are tangible contract words. Someone may say, oh, is is tangible? Jason, how is is tangible? I'll show you. Is, it says here, is third person singular present indicative of be. Okay? To be. Okay, so, so far, looks like it's non-tangible, right? But let's follow the continuance of the evidence and look up be. Be comes from Proto-Indo-European root B-H-E-U-E, -E, which means to exist and to grow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you this. What could be more tangible than the verb of the thinking? Try to navigate anywhere without thinking. And the nativity root meaning of that word is, comes from B, comes from this word on your screen, which means to exist and grow. And I know I have a tangible contract with what that means. Hence, is, is tangible contract. So then you may ask, as we go back here, how is already 
tangible contract. Again, I will show you a continuance of the evidence as to why it is. Already is tangible because when you look at the earliest nativity root meanings of the particles, you have all, which is every entire, the whole quantity of, fully, wholly, entirely, okay? And then you have ready, which comes from Old English, R-E-A-D-E, -E, prepared, ready, suitably equipped. arranged, administer. So these are all tangible contract conditions of state, ladies and gentlemen. Therefore, adjective, 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 pronoun, pronoun, adverb, adjective, pronoun. And this word right here, believe. B-E is no and L-I E-V-E -E means love. So believe means no love. So when you're talking about religious beliefs and political beliefs, you're talking about no love. Next headline. How Trump pressured Pence with taunts, lies, and an angry mob. Oh, wow. I suppose they're talking about that uh, orange Donald there putting some pressure. What does pressure mean? Let's find out. So pressure comes from Proto-Indo-European root P-E-R, which means to strike, pressurize. That's interesting that they don't give closure for the rest of the word. So then we have to go a little bit further. So we have to strike, and then what's the last part of the word? Sure. Safe against attack, secure, firm, reliable. Untroubled. Now again, this word secure is no cure, okay? No cure, because SE in front of, it means free from. So it's not the thing. It's free from the thing. It's not the thing. And then you have cure, which care. So it means no care. Cure means no care. Going back here. Sure comes from that. Comes from no cure. Sure means fear, strong, firm, strong, resolute. And then you go back here. Pressure means to strike. So to strike and secure to strike no cure. That is pretty funny. So how Trump <laughs> PRE means no. SUR means secure no cure. So it means no no cure in the past tense pence with taunts, lies, and an angry mob. Wow. This Trump guy is a pretty powerful guy. So the next headline, almost every square inch of the U.S. is being battered by climate change today. Almost every square inch of the us. So of the us, they mean the United States, I suppose. Every square inch, that's a lot of square inches, but it's almost every square inch. So I'm looking out my window right now, and I, I the climate changes every day, folks, every day. But I guess being battered is, is a, it's a perception. I don't feel I'm being battered by climate change, even though the climate changes every day. We'll continue to change every day, modify every day. It's what climate does. I don't know why people are getting so upset about it. But then when they use the word battered, they're making you think that it's some sort of violence is happening, that the, the climate change is, is, performing violence against every almost every square inch of the U.S. Kind of goofy. Kind of goofy. Here is the last headline, ladies and gentlemen. 
free to lay employee reveals why bags of chips have so much air in them. It has to do with keeping the chips safe. Well, in shipping, safety of the cargo is paramount so that the consumer or the receiver, the recipient gets what they paid for. And so that's uh, <laughs> a reasonable explanation for that, right? I guess. Hey, this looks like a bonus headline. So the headline reads, 11 ways women can shrink the gender pay gap to better achieve their financial goals. 11 ways women can shrink the gender pay gap to better achieve their financial goals. What gender pay gap is that? How many genders are there? Or does this harken back to the time when there were literally two genders? Which there are. Let's just syntax this to have some fun here, okay? So we have 11 ways women can shrink. That is adjective, 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 pronoun. The is an adverb. Gender is an adjective. Pay is an adjective. Gap is a pronoun. Two is an adverb in future tense. Better is an adjective. Achieve is a pronoun. There is an adverb. Financial is an adjective. And goals is a pronoun. Now, someone may ask me, well, how, how is better an adjective? Isn't that non-tangible contract? Let's find out. Look it up. Better of superior quality or excellence. Perhaps from Proto into European root good. See best. Advantage, help, profit, highest quality. Yes, these are tangible contract. Nativity root meanings, ladies and gentlemen. And that is how we establish a consistent baseline so that everyone can come in and syntax and get the same value if they just take the time to put the work in and look it up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring it in here. Thank you for joining me for this second episode of Now Space News. I'm still working on it, still ironing out the details. Uh, still trying to establish a baseline of what exactly I'm going to be doing with these headlines and how to use the grammar and, and teach at the same time while at the same time being you know, entertaining and fun. If you have any thoughts, leave them in the comments, please. Or you can email me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. You can find uh, that in the description of this video. Also, I'd like to wish everybody out there, all you dads out there, a happy Father's Day. And uh, we'll see you next time. Good night.